Hello, what's up, and what's happening? Welcome back for another SAU Dynasty video. Before we kick off the pen game, we gotta do some in-season recruiting. So this means it is time for these players to come and visit SAU. They wanna come see us. So I'm gonna have these guys come when we take on the University of Oregon. That's like the next big game before we play Texas in Texas. So anyways, man, we have this game versus Penn, the Ivy League school, and hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves. Sometimes it is good to have some easy opponents on the schedule, but you never know, man. Sometimes these easy opponents can be the hardest ones to beat. So right here, play action pass. Now Number four, these guys are Ivy League school. So when I did the auto name roster, I forgot to do Division Two and Division Three schools. So that's my mistake. But anyways, get back into the game. They actually pick up a first down. They actually having a nice start off to this drive. But on third down, he rolls to the right side, throws back to the left side. That ball is caught, but that leaves his player out of bounds. So Richie Thompson's like, I'm the fastest guy on the field, and let me prove it. And he's gone. Just like that, he is going to take that thing to the crib, and SAU is on top by seven. So big time run right there by Richard Thompson, and Richard Thompson's in the end zone for his first touchdown of the ball game. First play, 73 yards down the field. I mean, that kid is fast, man. The kid is really fast. Now, when we play Alabama and stuff, he doesn't appear to be that fast. But versus everybody else, he appears to be very, 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 very fast. So first and 10, drop back the pass, and Bracey gets in there for the sack. Bracey had one tackle versus Alabama. Yeah, maybe he's not as good as I thought he was, or maybe I just wasn't using him right. I don't know. Anyways, they throw that little dump off, and that is not going to pick up the first down. So we take back over. Tony Campbell's like, you know, let me get my thrills on, too. And he's going to find Spicer. And Fabian Spicer gets to the end zone, 14-0. Two offensive plays, two touchdowns, that's what I want to see. So if we keep this up, maybe we'll get some backups into the ball game. as I don't know what he was doing, doing a design quarterback keeper for him. Did not seem like the best choice. Another design QB keeper. No, that was a sack that time. Harvey gets up in there out of his outside linebacker spot, gets him for the sack. So it's first and 10, we can get the ball to Cooper. And Cooper, whoop. Makes a man miss, and that's three TDs on three offensive plays. If we played like this was Alabama, we would have been like the number one team in the country. Maybe one day we could be the number one team in the country, but as of right now, we have to beat up on teams like Penn and Arkansas State and Portland State. You know, stuff like that. Anyways, he's going to drop back the pass, and he goes down again. They can't block anything. They couldn't have stopped a cold if they saw it come. I don't know where I'm going with it, but they just not that good. Anyways, third and 15, that pass hits the grass, and now it's time for a punt. And it can only be a big play or a boo-boo, and Gilmore is like, let me show you what I can do. And he's going to get his first punt return of the season to go for six. Touchdown, S-A-U. And just like that, it is 28 to nothing. After we get them to go three and out, Tony Campbell has. He's rolling on. Now he's going to stop, going to pop, going to find more. And more is getting more and more yards. Move those chains for the SAU Bulls. From the 50-yard line now, Campbell looking. Campbell decides, no, I'm going to take off too. I am a dual-threat quarterback, and he's going to get smacked on the play. But he does pick up a first down over 127 yards. Rushing as a team. There goes Cooper. He's going to pick up a big first down. And as you can see, I started to milk this clock. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a blowout. Let me just take as much time time off the clock as I can so 34 to nothing and we're still in the first quarter so actually it's 35 to nothing still in the first quarter and now we're in the second quarter I believe and he's gonna drop back the pass and yeah just just get off the field because 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 that's not gonna get it done third and three up I got with the fullback and they actually pick up the first down the second first down of the ball game they're gonna give it right back to number 23 look at the halfback Whoa, look at the moves he's off to races oh no he didn't Okay, at least we caught him. If he would have scored a touchdown like that, I'm benching the whole defense. That's a nice run right there by him, though. He read his blocks beautifully, got upfield, but then you could have see the speed difference. And if we're faster than this school, you know that this school is just not established when it comes to football. It's an Ivy League school. It's all about academics, okay? SAU, not so much. Anybody and everybody can come here. We are a growing university. Anyways, man, they have to set up for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. 35-3. to three. Kickoff time. Richie Thompson, he's a fast individual. This is his second time touching the football all game. Made that dude look silly in that 92, I believe it's 93, 92 speed. He's going to take it to the crib, high-stepping his way into the end zone. You need a high-step on him, Richie Thompson. 
that was not necessary. But he, he has touched the ball two times, and he has two touchdowns. Kind of like what Randy Moss did his rookie year versus Dallas Cowboys. I'm just saying. Anyways, that pass hits the grass, and now it's third and in inches for SAU as we take over. And we're going to pick up the first down. Cooper, Chris Cooper, to be exact, he's going to do just that and pick up a fresh set of downs. But then they drop the D lineman in coverage. And that threw Tony Campbell. You know, you know, Penn is full of a whole bunch of smart dudes, and that was a smart play call right there by the defensive coordinator. Now they're gonna pick, now they're gonna throw this one to the outside. He runs over a man, and that doesn't get it done though. So on fourth down, they decide to go for it. Not the best pass by the quarterback, and now it's 42 to 3. We have the ball right back. Second and 10. Tony Campbell is off to races. He's pretty fast too. Gets a nice block right there. Crosses the 30. I'm not even holding the turbo button as you can probably tell. And that's going to result in another touchdown. So it's 49 to 3. Yeah. 49 to 3. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I wish we could have played this way versus Alabama. I'm just saying. I mean, we kind of played this way versus um, LSU. But I don't know why it didn't translate into the Alabama game. I don't know. But we need this win because we're still trying to get to a bowl game. So, anyways, man, we're going to give the ball to Chris Cooper as we start the second half. And look at Chris Cooper. Whoop. Try to get a man. Try to make a man miss. I'm not. I'm telling you. Half of the game, I'm not even using turbo button. Then Richie Thompson. His third touch of the ball game equals his third touchdown for number three. I don't even know how to feel about this game. It's 55 to 3 versus Penn. And I'm about to put the backups in. Like the back the defense didn't even play. The, 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 the first string defense didn't even play the second half. Our backups come in and we force a fumble. Right off the bat. Like, I'm glad that we're winning. Because we do need to win these these last games before the Texas game. We we probably could lose the Texas game and still get a bowl bit as wise. Look at my man wise. Getting some playing time and getting into the end zone. So 62 to 3. But I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this one. Because Penn is Penn. You know what I mean? But when we get blown out by teams like Alabama, it's just it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. When we lose to teams like like Florida and Georgia and Michigan, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Especially when we beat teams like this, the way that we're beating them just so dominant. It's like we should be able to hang better with the top teams in the nation. That's just where I'm coming from. But anyways, they give the ball right at that guy to the halfback. Look at that. 339 yards driven for SAU. Only 69 for Penn. But they're going to go to the air this time. They're going to find a receiver who makes a nice catch. Third and goal from the four-yard line. Goal line set. They give it to the halfback, and the halfback going to do damage and get into the end zone. Ran a man over, too. That is not what we wanted to see. Defense. I know it's the second string defense, but y'all need to come on. So now we're going to give the ball to Eric Dickerson. Whoop! Makes a man miss, and Eric Dickinson is about to take it to the crib. So, our four running backs have scored. Wise, the upperclassman, he scored. Then our three true freshmen, they scored. So, this is a fantastic game for them. This is the pad, the stats. Penn gets back on the field, and look at the big fullback bumbling and stumbling his way forward. And he's going to pick up the first down. Then up that got number 23, he gets to carry, and he's going to pick up a nice little game right there. Look at that, 13 carries for 98 yards. He actually had a pretty good game. Right there to go over the top to the tight end who puts it on the turf. And look at that recovery right there by Smith. Beautiful job by you, young man. And here we go, man. 69 to uh, 10. And there goes Wise. Wise is like, this might be the only playing time I get all season long. So let me do what I got to do. I really had high hope for uh, Wise. And, you know, I, I do follow college football ever since I was a little young buck. So I know that the upperclassmen, they're supposed to get a fair shake at the starting job. But, again, those first four games of the season, even though you can see him breaking tackles, he just struggled. He actually was averaging, like, 1.2 yards a carry. He had, like, 20 carries for, like, 29 yards. So that's just not going to get it done to me. He just didn't have the speed to be an every down back. But maybe we'll bring him in for some short yardage situations. But, I mean, Cooper is a beast. Cooper could do some short yardage too. But anyways, dropping back to pass, going to find Green. And Green, the big tight end, he sees money and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, S-A-U. Big time game, big time win. Okay, maybe not a big time game, but a big time win. Our most lopsided win in school history, 76 76 to 10. Yes, I'm, I did miss a PAT. I did miss a PAT somewhere along there. So, yeah. Anyways, man, that's going to wrap this one up. We get a big-time win. Our next opponent, I believe, is Arkansas State. 
then we have Oregon, then we have Portland State, and then we got the showdown with Texas. So hopefully we can do work, hopefully we can get this thing rolling in the right direction, and hopefully we can finish off this year on a very, very big, very, very good high note. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.